Hello, this is a review and tutorial for localviking.com. This is a local SEO or a Maps SEO um, or a, a GMB SEO uh, a ranking grid uh, checker. It does some other things, but there's some features in here that I don't recommend you use. Um, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Um, I've been using this tool for a year or two now. And um, in general, I'm really happy with certain things that it does. Uh, it does uh, pretty well, and uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm generally uh, very happy. Now, if you don't know why you should use this versus just like another tool, a lot of the old school tools that check, oh, where are you ranking for um, like a local search phrase, let's say Dallas Plumber or something, and it says, oh, you're number three. Okay, well, that doesn't really, in, in the maps, that doesn't really make sense uh, because uh, now with Google's algorithm over the last couple of years, basically where the searcher is located can dramatically affect what GMBs come up, even just a, a mile or two apart. You know, I've seen a ranking that was in the top three uh, in one place and then a mile west of there, it's 10th. Okay, so being able to get an idea for what the kind of the, the whole set of rankings that you have over an area is very useful because it can affect what you want to do for Maps SEO. I'll put a link to, I have a Maps SEO course uh, that gives more information about what, you know, how you would go about using that information. A little bit outside the scope of this video, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go get back into showing you what it's like inside this course. First of all, here's the pricing. Um, I believe I'm on, I'm on the starter yearly and the GeoGood credits, as far as I can tell, um, roll over. And so I have a ton of GeoGrid credits, even though I'm on the starter. Uh, but you know this data is gold, so it's really valuable um, to uh, to get geogrids and to to track geogrids, different keywords, different locations, and, and uh, at different sizes and different lo and different distances. All that data is extremely extremely valuable, uh, not just for uh, you know showing clients progress, but also for your own data purposes and understanding what it really takes to to rank in the maps and and what that really means. Okay, so um, I filtered this for, I have a ton of different geogrids in here. A lot of them I don't wanna show in here. This is my, you know, my local SEO agency site. And um, I filtered for, it's really nice where the history, it's, it, it searches as you type. It's really quick and easy to find specific ones. You can look over a history. You can look to see for different keywords, how things are going. Um, it's really quick and easy to uh, repeat this one if I want to, so I haven't done it in a month. I'll do that in a second. You can also schedule them, so you can schedule monthly. This is you know a big time saver. This is a feature they didn't have, I think like a year or two ago, uh, that was really useful. Um, I haven't tried the widgets thing. I don't really see why it would be useful, uh, but I don't have it on my plan, so I can't comment on that. But let's let's go ahead and, and this is the this is the sole reason I use this tool is for the geogrid tracking. I don't use it for the bulk posting or what else, whatever the else they have here, and I don't recommend that. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna repeat this. This is over a very wide area. A lot of this is not Dallas, um, but there was a period uh, when I had another listing that, that got suspended and I had to start over with a new listing, not kind of start over, but uh, I was number one for like a really wide area. So let's give that a minute to, to run. It doesn't take that long. Um, and usually what I'll do, oh, let me show you the credits so you can see I've got over 100,000 GeoGrid credits, right? And so what I'll do to try to save credits, especially if a listing is new and doesn't have a lot of rankings already, I'll start off at like seven by seven and one mile. Uh, and you need to think about that, that's 49 versus 169 data points. So this, this 13 by 13, it's, it's, uh, it's about three and a half times the amount of data that you'd use. So if it's all gonna be red, you know, going from seven, seven by seven all red, 13 by 13 is gonna be all red as well. Um, but okay, so let me tell you why I don't like this uh, because the way the, it leaves a footprint basically. Um, and now if you have just a, like a, if you're like a, a local business and you've got a few different properties and that's all you're doing, you know, you already kind of have a footprint, so that's not really um, a, a big deal. But if you're like me, I, I have a bunch of lead gen properties that I don't want Google tying together. And um, I've heard of some sort of correlation. Now, correlation does not mean causation of using local Vikings posting, GMB posting, and things getting suspended, like all of the things in an account. Uh, yes, GMB posting does help with rankings to some degree. I don't think it's a big factor. Um, I think it has more to do with the fact that 
that you're uh, you're being active in your GMB profile than it has to do with GMB posting is good. I've done some tests on this, and GMB posting is like, eh, I mean, it, it does something, uh, but it's not. It's definitely not the biggest factor at all. And it, by itself, it's not gonna, it, it, as far as I can tell, it's not gonna rank you. And again, a part of that might, a lot of that might just be that, hey, this is an active profile, so you can go in and you can do other things and get the same kind of result. It doesn't have to be about posting. Okay, so what we can see here is it generated this geo grid. This is really good. Uh, and part of my tutorial here would be um, I don't generate the PNG because I want this information in here. I like this date stamp in the picture and along with the search phrase. So I have VAs uh, run this uh, or, you know, they have the scheduled ones run and they go in and they screenshot basically from the business name to a little bit extra outside this. And this is a little bit strange of one, the fact that it, it's not ranking quite as well up here. Now, this is not actually Dallas up here, some of these. Also, the fact that it's like, I, I feel like it's been giving me some little blips like this. I, I feel like this is either an error in um, local Viking or, you know, Google Maps just, they play with stuff, you know, or Google just in general. They'll just like one day, you know, you could be ranking for years for one term and one day you'll be on, you know, be, you'll, you'll be fifth. Just, they're just like, hey, let's see what happens when we try this at fifth. We'll see how this, the people respond. I think that's the case. Um, uh, here that's, ha that's happening here. So, uh, that was pretty easy and, uh, let's go back to history. Again, I really like how the history filters, um, and you can kind of see, uh, it looks like my rankings are maybe slightly worse. If you count these little yellow dots, I bet if I were to run it again, I wonder if I were to run it again, if it would give kind of the same thing, let's see one mile, let's give it a second. Um, so really like if you look at all these things, I don't recommend adding your locations. I don't recommend doing bulk posting, but for um, getting ranking geo grids, local Viking is great. Um, there's other uh, ranking geo grid tools out there. Um, I've been very happy overall with local Viking, so I don't really have a, a, a big reason to switch, especially because I have a bazillion credits. Okay, so let's see if it, did it, did it give me the same thing? See, look, it's different. Yeah, so I think that there is some amount of randomness to what Google serves up. I mean, that's just to be expected. Just normally, they've been doing that for a long time. Um, and I'm seeing more of these little blips um, in, the, in, in not just in this property, but in other properties. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. If you like this video, please like it. Uh, and please subscribe for more uh, videos like this. And check out the Maps SEO Ninja Training uh, course. I'll put a link to that below. I'll also put a link to Local Viking. It's an affiliate link. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. And I get a little bit extra for you to sign up through that link. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will definitely respond to it. Um, and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.